I've visited many places in Uganda that are really rich, that attract tourists. And yeah, we are called the Pearl of Africa, which is, which is actually true. We are really a Pearl of Africa because we have a lot of good things. But then, even these countries have a lot of good things. My name is Mark Kwandiaka. I'm just a regular guy from Uganda. This is the Regular Rant Podcast, where we spend 15 minutes every day to dig deep into our personal lives and share our stuff. I'll go first. What's up, good people out there? Welcome to the Regular Run Podcast, the number one show. I know our ratings are still down right now, but I know with time, this is going to become the number one show in the whole world because we are the only people that discuss relevant content. Anyhow, today, I have an interesting topic. Uh, this is something that we should get used to. Like I told you, like every day is going to have a different specific theme that we'll be ranting about. And today, I want us to rant about an opinion. Like every Thursday, we'll just have an opinion of something. And today, I want us to discuss the, the most famous opinion that is out there that I've seen every TikToker and every people discuss about. And this is which is the better country of the three countries? Which one is better? Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Which one is a better country? Now, I have seen various opinions and I've seen various views on this particular topic. And I was prompted to also carry on and also put in my own opinion on this because I feel like I have a different insight. I mean, if we are going to discuss the uh, which one is a better country of these three countries, then we have to put in things in different contexts and different perspectives. I've seen people give it to Kenya, but I feel like their reasons are not satisfactory as to why they should put Kenya first. Because I feel like everybody okay is coming from uh, from a personal opinion and uh, and they're giving their own views in terms, but then they shouldn't qualify it as everybody's thought anyway that is what i think even here i'm going to just share my opinion but i'm going to i, I want i want my opinion to, to to not just be centered on myself but to be looked at in a bigger context because i did i did take time to to try and research and find out more about this uh, about these countries in deeper context because i didn't just want to come out here and give my opinion i wanted to to have to, to give like something that co communicates or something that educates beyond just what I'm going to give you. At the end, I will share my own opinion of, of the three countries, which one I think is a better country. Anyhow, so to begin with, I, I went down to Google and I searched. I, I pulled out uh, World Bank records of the three countries and to just compare a few things. First of all, I compared the population and it showed here that the population of uh, the uh, now the population statistics that I'm talking about date back to 2021. So I don't want you guys to come after me. This is proven. You go down to the internet, you will find it. I'll share the links. So the population that I compared, uh, and it shows here that the comp the population of Uganda is 45.85 million people. And then the population of Kenya is 53.01 million people. And then Tanzania has 63.59 million people. So that means that in terms of population, Uganda has the lowest population. So why did I begin with population? Because I think that when we are going to compare these two countries, it is important to first think of the things that make it a better country. So population become, comes into handy because think about it this way. In terms of production, in terms of production, if let's say we're producing soap, in terms of production, you'll find that Tanzania produces, has the capacity to produce more soap than the rest of the countries. You get that. So in terms of, uh, in terms of market as well, after we've produced, now who has to buy? So the population, I mean, the country with the bigger population will still have the bigger market share. So population comes into handy as we move on. So I went on, I went ahead and also decided to, to compare the life expectancy of the three countries. Which one has the better life expectancy? And I discovered that Tanzania has 66.41 years. So that means that uh, one Tanzanian is capable of living for about 66.41 years. 
Of course, life expectancy doesn't mean that all people will reach that, but it's just an average. And Uganda has a life expectancy of 62.85 years. So Kenya has a life expectancy of 62.68 years. This means that Kenyans die earlier than the rest of the countries. <laughs> Then I went on to compare the GDP of the countries. And I, I discovered that Kenya has a GDP of 2,081.80 US dollars. Tanzania has a GDP of 1,000 GDP per capita. This is what I'm comparing. It has a GDP per capita of 1,099.29 US dollars. And then Uganda has a GDP per capita of 883.89 US dollars. Those of you that don't understand what GDP means, GDP is like, let's say the country produces uh, soap, produces coffee, produces oil, and it sells it out to the, to, to, and sells all of it. So what GDP means is that when we get the value of what we've sold, you divide that by the population. Now, let's say we've sold our oil, we've sold our, our coffee, we've sold our, our soap, and we've got like, let's say, a trillion US dollars. And then you divide that with 45 million Ugandans. So what remains is what every Ugandan is capable of getting. That is according to statistics. At least that's, that's the best way I can explain it. So once you, once, you div once you calculate everything that we sell or that we produce and sell, and you divide it amongst the the population in, in in uganda you'll find that every ugandan at least has 883.89 us dollars at the end of the day so when i compared all of that this means that uh when you when you look at the gdp kenya has the best gdp but where does this go back remember i told you that if you are going to compare the population I mean, if you're going to compare these countries uh, to find out which one is the bigger, which one is the best country or which one is a better country, then population has to come in handy. But then we're discovering that in terms of population, um, Uganda has the lowest population, but still has the lowest GDP per capita. Yes, this means that, like, like I told you, the production capacity of the two countries that have, a, that have a bigger population than Uganda is high because they will have more people that are, willing, that are able to produce goods and services and then they will have people that are able to buy the products that are produced. So that means that Uganda is always going to lag behind in terms of that. But then we find that uh, Tanzania has a bigger population, yet when you come to the GDP, their GDP is lower than Kenya. What does that mean? <laughs> now, now here, the population can be big, but then uh, the reason why Kenya has a bigger GDP, now this one can go back to the quality of the market, or I mean the quality of the people that are in the country. You might find that what improves the quality of the people that are in the country is the level of education and level of training. So you might find that Tanzania, whereas it has a lot of people living in it, you might find that the population there is not skilled enough to produce goods that are needed on the market. So that's where Kenya beats the rest of us. So you get. So now, having understood that, now I'm go now this is the statistics thing and I'm covering the book for that. Now let us go back to our normal conversation like mm, regular people to regular people. I have visited all these countries on numerous times. I have gone to Tanzania and I have gone to Kenya and I've lived in Uganda my whole life. So my my assessment of these countries is not really biased. I know what I'm talking about because I've experienced it all. In my opinion, I feel like a Ugandan, if a Ugandan decided to leave Uganda and go and settle in Tanzania, they would settle in very, very comfortably. That is my opinion. Because what I discovered when I went to Tanzania is that their life is not very much different from ours. And I, I mean life not in terms of culture or what, but in terms of survival. 
especially in the urban centers because i was in Dar es Salaam and i was in a town called morogoro when i visited and i saw that life there was a little bit the same the value of money doesn't change much because when you look at when you look at one, uh, when you compare one tanzanian shillings to to uganda shillings you'll find that one tanzanian shillings has 1.5 which means that with 600,000, let's say a regular Ugandan earns 600,000 shillings, they will still be able to go to Kenya, I mean to Tanzania, and live there comfortably without even altering any part of their life. Just like you live here in Uganda, you would be able to live in Tanzania, which I find a little bit difficult for for a Ugandan who decided to leave, to leave Uganda and go to Kenya because now Kenya is a <laughs> is different news. The cost of living there is a little bit higher. And now, uh, in terms of, uh, let me see, let me compare, uh, because I went, let me compare the tourism. I have go, I've visited many places in Uganda that are really rich, that attract tourists. And yeah, we are called the Pearl of Africa, which is, which is actually true. We are really a Pearl of Africa because we have a lot of good things. But then, even these countries have a lot of good things. I visited um, Amboseli National Park and I visited, I visited Tanga in Tanzania, very nice island which is very beautiful it just gave me a feel of something that i've never experienced so in terms of tourism i'm going to say uganda has a bigger has a better tourism experience because when i went to when i went to amboseli i found um i found very many animals had died because of uh, because of the drought we were told that in that area it had uh, it had they had experienced no rain for almost a whole year so all animals were almost dead like you could go for a game drive and only find dead animals and carcass and just smelly everywhere so i didn't like i didn't like that experience even though i have had rumor that Masai Mara gives better better tourism experience but then that is a rumor i haven't gone I haven't gone there so if i'm to compare the places i've been to in uganda the places i've been to in kenya the places i've been to in tanzania i would say uganda has the best tourism experience and then still on the tourism experience in terms of hospitality i think ugandans are very hospitable people than the kenyans and than the tanzanians the mere fact that we speak good english allows us to mingle with the visitors or to mingle with other people and we are always very curious about the people that come than than the rest of the countries because i've visited uh when i visited these two these countries i didn't visit as a as a as a high profile tourist or who goes to like a, a uh, like five star places no I visited local, I encountered local, and I went deep down to the villages, various villages. Uh, I even reached the Maasai, the Maasai steep. So I experienced different, the, the, the interactions with different people in different places, and I can conclude that Ugandans are very, very hospitable people. And I'm not saying this because I'm a Ugandan. <laughs> No, I'm not saying that because I'm a gun. I wanted this to be so open. So I'm I'm telling you that I've first given you the statistics where where Uganda ranks in terms of statistics. But then in terms of the social, yeah, you, you guys can be better uh, politically. You can be better. You can be better economically. But when it comes to the social aspect, Uganda is always going to be a better country in terms of the social aspect. And and the social aspect can be used if we if can be used to be like <laughs> anyway what i'm trying to say is that you, uganda versus tanzania versus kenya uganda is a better country that is it for me right now thank you so much i know this is a this is a Thursday and I wanted us to use this Thursday for opinions like this. And every Thursday I would come up with something to compare or something to talk about, something to just rant about. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the please. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share, like and comment.